Now, if you watch my older videos, I might seem a lot happier. I might seem a lot chipper, a lot more positive. And that's because I faked it. My only motivator was views. I have never met a happy YouTuber. <laughs> Asalaamu As Alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> The society that we live in glorifies, promotes and idolizes celebrities. That's because many interests stand to gain from them. I mean you got the likes of big brands, film and music industry and even the governments themselves. And let's face it, many of these celebrities aren't the best of role models. I was not focused on the impact of my content so much as just producing the next piece of crazy content I could. I, I, I legitimately didn't, did not think about the impact, also didn't really care. I think that's, that was part of the, the, the Tokyo problem and the, the, the Japan problem. So because of all of this attention on celebrities, we're seeing them on billboards and newspapers and TV. So naturally, the average layperson wants to be a celebrity. But nowadays, a lot of these young guys want to be YouTubers because they feel that's a bit more practical and within their reach. But before that guys, I want to get across a very important principle, yeah? Which is problems happen to everyone. And naturally, to get rid of them, you have to deal with them. The longer you leave it, the bigger the problem becomes. A really good analogy is like that of a plant. If it's small, it's easier to take out, yeah? However, if you let the plant grow, similarly if you let your problems grow, just like it's difficult to remove the tree, it's gonna be similarly very difficult to remove your problem when you allow it to take root. So in our heads we think if we have more money or possessions or fame, somehow these problems will fade away and solve themselves. But naturally, all these things can really do is either distract you or delay you from solving your problem. And in the meantime, it grows and grows and grows and eventually woo, it peaks out and you have to finally deal with it. I had a lot of trauma going like during uh, the process of becoming champion. I lost like uncles who were close trainers and lost children at birth and stuff like that. And I put it all to the back of my mind because I didn't want to think about it. I never had time to think about it at that time. Yeah. I was too focused on achieving my goals. All my eggs were in one basket. Yeah. And that basket was to defeat Klitschko and become the heavyweight champion of the world. And I knew that when I did that, then I wasn't going to have a goal anymore. Yeah. And there was nothing more to strive for. And it all came crashing down. I was so unwell at the time, I lost the passion to be alive. And let's face it, a lot of the people that we look up to have admitted themselves to being fake. I mean, let's look at the prank guys. But then I came out with a really, really, really long video basically saying pranks are fake, mm -hmm. uh, social experiments are fake. First of all, those pranks on them are like fake. My vlogs are like, it's like lightly scripted and so when I, all those pranks, I like tell them I'm gonna do it. These guys are very big YouTubers and look how casually they're just saying that. Now if you watch my older videos, I might seem a lot happier, I might seem a lot chipper, a lot more positive and that's because I faked it. <laughs> I thought that for people to want to watch my videos, I would have to be happy. I would have to force positivity. And uh, I think it's safe to say it worked. Like, I'll even have family members say to me, you know, because in real life I'm kind of quiet and kind of like to myself a little bit. So most YouTubers aren't even, aren't even themselves in their videos. And naturally, if you're not being yourself, eventually it is going to get to you. And those of us that still think money can make you happy, if it could, why isn't it working for these people? I was like, oh my god, one day if I get rich, I'm gonna be so happy and I'm gonna have everything I've ever wanted. And and then you grow up and you know, I found a lot of success with YouTube. But it didn't make me happier. Like having money or being able to afford food or having a pool or whatever didn't like make me happier. In a lot of instances, it made me sadder because the more things I bought couldn't fill the hole inside of me that I don't even know what it is. And with people who want to be YouTubers, it's all about chasing the views. My only motivator was views. Mm -hmm. I wanted views. 
because views equated to money, views equated to subscribers, which equated to success. And I started to skew the person that, w that was Logan Paul. And another reason why we want views other than money and being famous is the need to feel validated and loved and adored by other people. Why? Well this could be maybe you didn't receive that love from your father or mother when you were young and because of that now you felt insecure but as your body changed you started getting attention from other people and you loved that and that's probably because why you display yourselves to other people because that's the only way you know to get validation. But that's not really going to solve your underlying problem. Your underlying problem it's still there. Displaying your body is a temporary fix yeah and ultimately it's going to make your situation worse because you're going to attract the wrong people, eventually it's going to get to you what you're actually doing, it's going to affect your future. So in reality it's best that we're more introspective and speak to a cognitive therapist or, or somebody with knowledge that can actually sift through the emotional baggage and get to the root problem. Or if you're able to do that yourself, write it down and sometimes when you write things down it's easier we can say oh damn this is linked to this issue that happened or this that happened in my past and once we can identify it we can deal with it. And of course guys if our love or validation relies on other people, let's face it, other people they have mood swings. One day they love you, the next day they don't because it really does depend what they get from you. And also they can leave you yeah, like in a relationship and leave you heartbroken or they can die and pass away. So your validation and love needs to come from yourself. And not to mention if you are being fake for such a prolonged period of time eventually that in itself is gonna get to you. In fact in psychology there's a term called cognitive dissonance. That means when there's two contradicting ideas in the brain and you just can't handle it and it comes out in a negative way. The more I was changing the more I was realizing that this 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 character of, of like Logan Paul vlogs is, is just not me and there, we have footage of me on camera just like becoming frustrated with having to having to fake this energy on camera. Hmm. It, it, it put me into like a like a like a mild depression. It was it was like it was it was the worst part of my life, and it forever will be the worst part of my life. You see, to get certain views, you have to post silly stuff or controversial stuff. And how long are you gonna post that? Eventually, you're gonna grow older, and it's just gonna make you think like, what on earth am I doing? For God's sake, is this really me? And unless you're doing something meaningful, it doesn't last very long. I, I got in a cycle where my actions every day were reinforced by views. It was I knew that the crazy the the crazier more inappropriate things I did would get views. And so in my mind this was a good thing. Everything I did was supported by an audience and in my mind that meant success. When in reality just, it, that's not that's not the case. Yeah, even these YouTubers like KSI and all these even Tupac and Eminem eventually as they grew older they matured and changed and evolved. So what is the actionable advice from all this? Well don't chase fame, chase excellence. For if you work on being the best person you will attract fame and that fame will be well deserved and you'll be able to handle it well also. Number two, understand happiness is not made from fleeting moments like passing an exam or certain moments of pleasure and lust. Happiness is a state of mind and it needs to be worked on. Yeah! And the way you work on it is by working on your purpose and your perspective. Being more optimistic and positive, stuff like that really does help. If you're looking for the good in people and in life, you will find it. If you're looking for the negative and worst in people, you will also find it. Think about it, 90% of the things that we experience are pretty much in our head, in our mind, our feelings, our emotions, how we interpret things. So it's very important that we, you know, buy literature, read books. I'll try to recommend some that, you know, helps you rewire your brain to such a way that you, you're looking for the positive in things. So guys, yeah, I really wanted to put this video out and 
I didn't just want to plonk out any old rubbish so I really did put some thought into this stuff. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys benefited from and what's helped you in your journey because you know, people are in a very rough situation and sometimes they think oh if I become a celebrity or if I sell myself you know by posting inappropriate stuff or you know whatever nonsense I'll become happy but no. Even if you become a celebrity you're still going to have to deal with your demons. In fact there's going to be more pressure now because all eyes are on you so if you mess up there's more people pointing fingers. Everyone thinks that if they're successful, everyone thinks if they had a sort of a, you know, the world's most successful YouTube channel that everything would be okay. And look at you, there's been points where that in itself has been the thing that's brought you to crisis and despair and loneliness. Yeah. And you've been on a continual journey of reflection and you're on a continual journey of discovery. And that's all of us. So however we're doing it, we're all trying to find our pathway. Hope you guys benefited from this. I'm going to leave it there. Until next time. Assalamualaikum. <laughs>